Having urged readers to persevere in the race, and to lift the drooping hands, and to strengthen the weak knees, as they advance toward the real goal, Hebrews in chapter 12, 18 to 24, now provides another image of the goal toward which they are running. Two mountains with two messages. The message about Mount Sinai is very clear. God was majestic, God was unapproachable, and the fear of his presence and his word overwhelmed the people. And that is where the but of Hebrews 12, 22 comes in. Not Mount Sinai, but Mount Zion stands at the end of the journey, which is undoubtedly what Revelation calls the marriage supper of the Lamb. Our citizenship has been made possible by Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, who is applying his sacrificial blood in the heavenly sanctuary on behalf of all who accept his grace. Jesus' blood speaks. It speaks a better word, a word of hope, a word of comfort, a word of cleansing, a word of power, a word of welcome. The Mount Zion image sets forth a message of hope and celebration based on what Jesus did for us.